Good evening, everyone. Nice to have you in class, Filomena Guillermo. Welcome, Clelia. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent to have you here. How are you today? ¿Cómo están ahora? ¿Cómo están hoy? Happy? Nice? Because tomorrow, no, no, you don't work, right? It's a holiday. Oh. Mañana no trabajan, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, or yes. Yo sí. Or yes. Really. No, you have to no, work, no, 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 Yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay. And Guillermo, do you have to work tomorrow? Usted tiene que trabajar mañana, Guillermo. Eh, no, I don't know. No. no. Mañana. No, I don't. Or I don't know. No, I, I don't. don't. ¿Trabaja o no trabaja? ¿O no sabe no. todavía? No, no, no. Ok, so you say, no, I don't. A okay, short answer. Do you work tomorrow? No, I don't. Ok. And Clelia, hello. Hello. Do you work tomorrow, Clelia? No. No, I don't. Very well. No. If you work, you say, yes, I do. Yes, I work tomorrow. Ok, class. So in one minute, we are going to get started. And... Uh, Okay, I think that you have been working in the platform, right? Is that okay? Si han estado trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí? Okay. Sí, Thank you. Great. No problem? No. no hay problema. No han encontrado ninguna dificultad, ningún problema? No. No. Okay, muy bien. Excellent. So uh, it is exactly the time to get started. Good evening, Miss Ana Veronica. Thank you for joining. And in order to take advantage of the time and the connectivity, we're going to get started, okay? I am so glad that all of you are here in class. And today is our class number 18. Only two more classes on Friday and on Monday. And then you're going to be turning to Jose Pacheco, congratulations. You are in your holiday from now, yeah? Desde ya tiene el, 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 el holiday, Jose Pacheco, very relaxing. Okay, great. <laughs> and here we go. As I told you, we're going to get started. Okay. But before we move, I'm going to share this with you and I'm going to share my PPT, my PowerPoint presentation with you. Okay. So today is September 14th, 2022. And here we go. Okay, today, as I told you at the beginning, is our video conference number 18. We only remain two more, okay? Solo nos quedan ya dos más, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, on Friday and on Monday. On Friday 19 and on Monday 20th. Remember that on Monday, you have to submit the, in class, the, the survey, okay? The satisfaction survey, la encuesta de satisfacción, porque nos dan un determinado tiempo la, la administración para que hagamos en clase a las 8.30, es el llenado de esa encuesta y que tomen la screenshot, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando la envían, porque a ellos no les queda copia, entonces esa es la evidencia que ustedes sí la llenaron. Y les voy a poner un video para que vayamos paso a paso llenándolo, porque hay fechas específicas que ahí se les va a compartir también. Y también me, me imagino se los van a compartir vía WhatsApp y por su correo, ¿verdad? Pero hay un orden para llevarlo, ¿sí? Ok, so today our first activity is greetings. We have uh, a feedback. We're going to read the objectives for today's class as every day that we have been meeting here in this virtual classroom. We're going to continue working with more propositions of place. And we continue using there is and there are in order to describe places, locations. And we're going to be practicing with the topic. I expect that we are going to cover today pages 42, 43, and 44, okay? And also reminding you about homeworks and evaluations as I did since the very first moment that we began to talk. Recordándoles las tareas y evaluaciones, ¿verdad? Para esta última semana y el examencito final, okay? And here we have our feedback. As brainstorming, we have there is, 
for singular, there are four plural sentences and we use it in order to give directions or to describe where something is. Utilizamos there is, there are, en singular y en plural, para describir direcciones o la posición o ubicación de algo o alguien, ¿sí? Prepositions of place is the follow up. Es la continuación ahora en eh, yesterday you were practicing speaking, writing, because you were writing, you were reading, and you were listening to your partners and to the teacher because you practice a conversation, actually two conversations, yes? And here we continue with our feedback with the prepositions of place at for a specific point in is used for enclosed spaces, okay? For enclosed spaces and on to describe the surface where something is or someone is para describir la superficie sobre lo que está algo o alguien. And here, some questions that you were practicing, okay, and answering. And here we have more prepositions. Behind, in, on, at, the three most common, between and among, they have the same meaning, but let's remember we use between when there is something or somebody between two, entre dos, among, three or more, entre tres o más, okay? Next to, in front of, opposite of. And here, also a reminder of what we did yesterday. There is and there are. We use there is for singular nouns. There are for plural nouns. And then we have, there is a cat, there is an orange, there is an avocado, there is a table, there is a person, there is a tall building, okay? There are, for plural, there are three children, there are some oranges, there are five tomatoes, there are three bags of vegetables, there are two bottles of milk, there are two tall buildings, yes? Okay, okay great. Questions or comments about this? Everything clear? Okay, I hope so. And now look at this more propositions of place. We have here under, for example, under the desk, under the table, under the chair, under the bed, under the tree, under the book, under the box, below, below the surface, okay? Below the ceiling, below the table, below the lamp, over, over my head, over the floor, over 20 years old, in front of, in front of the church, in front of the building, in front of my office, in front of the cafeteria. And then we have, besides, it is a kind of synonym of next to, okay? Beside or next to the desk, beside or next to the coffee station coffee station where you go and get the coffee, okay, at work. Uh, beside or next to uh, the door, beside or next to the computer, beside or next to the printer, beside or next to the sales department, beside or next to my office, behind, we practiced yesterday with this one, behind the computer, behind the chair, behind the parking lot, around, around the building, around the building, around the meeting room, around the sales department, around my house, across from or opposite. These two are kind of synonym too. You may say across from the city hall or opposite the city hall. We practiced this two yesterday. The manager's office, across from the manager's office or opposite the manager's office, across from the park, opposite the park, near, near my desk, near my workplace, near my house, near your house, against, equals opposite, against the CEO's 
office, against the store, against the park, okay? When you say against, it is a synonym for opposite. Now, guys, do you have comments or questions about this other prepositions of place? La, teacher, buenas noches. What do you mean? Under and below. Okay. Hay una pequeñísima diferencia. Permítame. Yes. Okay. There you are. I have shared with you guys the, the slide, okay? Hey, good evening to the others who recently joined. I am so glad that you are here. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you were telling me, Miss, below and over. Uh, under, under, under and below. Mm -hmm. Under and below. You see here, under, por debajo, por debajo. Below, abajo under the desk, okay? Below the surface, es abajo de la superficie, below the ceiling, abajo del cielo, no por debajo del cielo, ¿sí? Below the table, abajo de la mesa. Nada más que nosotros lo interpretamos, nuestra idea como under the, for example, under the table, eh, abajo, ¿sí? Pero realmente tendría que ser uh, below. Uh -huh. Hay una pequeña diferencia. Es el espacio que hay entre eh, el objeto y la superficie. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Under the desk, ok, under the bed. Nosotros decimos, uh, under the bed, nos han enseñado desde pequeños a traducirlo como, o interpretarlo como abajo de la cama, pero es por debajo de la cama, la traducción de under, ok, y below es abajo, ¿sí? Okay. ok, pero uh, below the lamp, abajo de la lámpara, ok. Pero eh, nosotros lo utilizamos así. Lo que sucede es que below muy poca gente lo utiliza. Utilizan más el under y por eso tal vez usted me decía lo de la, la como sinónimo. Y sí se podría tomar como sinónimo, pero eh, la, gramaticalmente el uso es este. Sí, por eso viene acá entre paréntesis. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Pero lo interpretamos así tal cual como están acá los, los ejemplos. Sí. Ok. And we are going to practice this today. So here we go. You have under, below, over, in front of, beside, or next to, behind, around, across from, opposite, near, against, or opposite. Okay, I'm going to get started and I need you to activate your cameras because you're going to use one of those prepositions and you're going to describe something that is around you, okay? And here I'm going to, to start, okay? Um, let's see, which choose one preposition and uh, the easiest for you, okay? According to what you have, okay? Um, and if I say, let me see. Mm, which one? Okay, here. The marker is, okay, on the cell phone. The cell phone is below the marker, yeah? I give it examples. Now you tell me one example about something that is okay around you. Okay, use one preposition of place. Let's begin. Filomena has an easy one. Filomena tiene una bien fácil ahí desde lo que le podemos ver en la cámara. También uh, Carlos tiene otra fácil. Okay. Let's begin. Look around and tell me one example, okay? Filomena. 
Hello. Okay, your example. Your example. Ahí en la pared, ¿qué hay? Pero en relación a usted, en relación a usted, no, no, en relación a usted, ¿qué hay en la pared? En su pared, en relación a usted. There are. There are. Ajá. I don't know if they are calendars or pictures. There are, como dice, cuadros. Pictures, pictures. There are, there are some, some pictures. There are some pictures. There are some pictures. Pictures, ajá, pero en relación a usted. In front, beside, next to, or behind. ¿Dónde están? There are some pictures. Yes. Yes. Okay. You have to say this sentence. So look at this. Okay, you have to build your sentence like this. There are some pictures behind me. Porque están detrás de usted, ¿sí o no? Uh, There yes. are some pictures behind me. Okay, very well. Now, another example similar to this one. Who wants to try? ¿Quién quiere intentarlo? Okay. Using any preposition of place. Ay, come on, come on, easy. According to what you have around, there are door. There are. There are. No, no es puerta, verdad? Es el window. El window. There is a window. There is a window. Eh, behind. Behind. Serafin. Behind Serafin. Okay, here. There are. There is. Because there is one. There is a window behind Serafin. Yes. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Another example, class? Es correcto, there is a door. There is a door. Excuse me? Repeat. There is a door in front of me. Excellent. There is a door in front of me. Excellent. Very well. Okay. Someone else? Something that is around you or that you are wearing or que ustedes están usando, vistiendo. What do you have in front of you right now? There is a... ¿Qué es lo que tienen frente a ustedes para verme a mí? Ok. Excellent. Because it is singular, we say there is or there are. There is. There, there is. is. Uh -huh. There is. A computer. Ok, there is a computer. Front. In front of me. Okay, very well. Okay, excellent. There is a computer in front of me. Okay, very well. So you're going to be working with different prepositions, but in order to describe in a better way the place of where you work, okay? Para eh, describir el lugar donde trabajan. Because yes, now sir. you have more elements. Yes, miss? Tengo una consulta. En el caso del preposition over, este, uh -huh. ese que significa, traducido al español, eh, sobre, uh -huh. digamos, eh, haciendo relación a una dirección, digamos, eso no, no la podríamos utilizar, ¿verdad? Over. Digamos, sobre la quinta calle poniente, por ejemplo. No, no, over. that is on, porque esa, escucha, para direcciones está específica in, eh, on or at, ¿verdad? 
Pero si yo, look at this, look at this, look over, over. Ok, look at the marker and the cell phone, over, porque hay un espacio sobre, pero hay, hay un espacio ahí, mientras que eh, la infraestructura, el edificio, la casa o lo que sea, la propiedad está sobre esa calle, ¿sí? Encima exactamente, ¿sí? Ok, ok, thank you for asking that, to clarify. And then we continue now with the feedback for the ones who had problems yesterday, if you remember, okay? We were working yesterday in the last part of the class with there is and there are for singular and plural, if you remember. And then we said there is an ATM across the street. An or a, because it depends on the word that follows, okay? Depende de la palabra que sigue. And then we can say there's no, Clothing factory, porque acá llevamos un nombre o sustantivo. Podemos decir there is no. No necesariamente tenemos que decir there isn't. There is not. No. There is no. Podemos decirlo también. ¿Ok? For singular and for plural. There are no hospitals on Barrios Street. ¿Ok? There are no hospitals on Barrios Street. Este no lo podemos utilizar para ambos casos. Singular or plural. And we were working in the completion of these sentences, if you remember, right? And also you were practicing and building this conversation with the real information about the place where you work in. Yes? Estuvieron trabajando en esta conversación eh, con su información real sobre lo que, eh, la información de su lugar de trabajo, ¿de acuerdo? And now, Uh, also, you were practicing this conversation. Do you remember? Yes, using there is and there are. Let's remember that we say building, okay? Building. When we pronounce this word, forget about the letter U. You don't say building, no. That is not correct. Building. I don't live here. Remember, where do you live? It is the same pronunciation. Live. I know it. It is or it's down the street on the left side. Left, izquierda, lado izquierdo, left side. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street, okay? So I need two volunteers to practice this conversation as part of the feedback, two volunteers. It can be a boy and a girl or two boys or two girls, no problem, okay? Hello? Okay, Jose Pacheco, you're going to read Will and Veronica, you're going to read uh, Tania. Let's begin. One, two, three. Okay. Hello, can you help, help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know, I know it. It's down the street of the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers of the building between Main and Twin Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your participation, guys. Okay. And now it is the time to activate the cameras because I'm going to take your attendance for today. So let's see, Ana Marlene, Marlene, where are you? Present. Thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you. Barbara. Hello, Present. Barbara. Okay, Hello. thank you. Hello, Carlos Miguel. Present. Great. Clelia Estela Flores. Present. Miss Clelia. Danny Alberto. Danny, where are you? Oh, Danny was here, but he lost the connect. He has problems with the connecting. David Emanuel. David Present Emanuel. Teacher. Okay, great. Arriving home. Filomena Luz. 
Presente. Ok. Francisco Enrique Saldaña. Absent. Guillermo. Hello. Present. Thank you, Guillermo. Ivania Elizabeth. Here I am. Thank you. Jonathan. Here I am. Justin Tan. Okay, Serafín, thank you. Jonathan. Here I am. Here I am. Thank you. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Thank you, Mr. Pacheco. Jose Manuel Mejía. Absent at the moment. Ah, Danny, you're here. You're back. Okay, thank you. Sí, es que en algunos lugares está lloviendo. Um, Karina Vanessa. Vale. Okay. Here. Milagro Madeline. Is Madeline? Present. Noé. Hello, Present. Noé. I saw you here. Okay. Hello. Serafín is here. And William Francisco. Present. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, listen, guys. We're going to work in the following way. Sometimes we have to work in a place that it is not so nice for us. Yes. Algunas veces tenemos que trabajar en un lugar que no está agradable para nosotros, pero we have to work there. Yes. Entonces, bueno, that's part of the life. Es parte de la vida. Vamos a leer cómo se describe mi lugar de trabajo. ¿Sí? Vamos a leer primero y luego lo practicaremos con nuestra realidad. ¿Sí? Here. I need your attention. So, thank you for practicing this and you also answered these questions and we went through this, right? There is and there are. And now it is the time for the following. Okay. Here, describe how my and others uh, working places and areas look like. Cómo se ven, cómo la gente visualiza el lugar. Ask a classmate which places are in your working place. How does your working place area look like and share, okay? So this is the question. Uh, which places are there in your workplace? Okay, this is the question that you're going to, okay, to be asking and answering over here. Hmm. Which are the places? Which are the places that, okay, that, you can see in your workplace. ¿Cuáles son los lugares que puede ver, que puede visualizar, que conoces? Okay, and then you may say, for example, there is a front desk. Hay una recepción, or there is a reception. What else? There is a human resources department. Maybe there are two cafeterias, or there is one cafeteria. There is a coffee station, yes? Hay un lugar donde vamos a traer café, coffee station. What else? There are many bathrooms or toilets. En algunos lugares solo son los toilets. Y en otros son los bathrooms. Bathroom with a things, with a mirror. But in some others only the, when they have many, they have only the toilet. Exactamente el toilet, ¿verdad? El inodoro. Yes. And outside there is one, one sink. Uh, there is... Um, there is a copy, a copy center, maybe. There is a copy center, okay. 
en others. Y ahí cada quien por la naturaleza. There is a, there is a parking lot. There is no parking lot. Yes, van a hacer el listado de los lugares que pueden visualizar que están las dependencias en su oficina, en su lugar de trabajo. Y estar ok. Yes. Yes. Only yes. the list. But you use there is or there are. Because later, first you write the list because your partners, they are going to ask you this question. Oy. Ok. Ok. So right now. Okay. We're going to move to the breakout rooms. And remember that here you are, okay? We're going to work at page 43. Only the list, only this part. Solo la primera pregunta, okay? La lista, van a hacer un listado de los lugares que hay, las dependencias que hay, okay? Y luego, cuando hagan la primera pregunta, la segunda sería, how does your worker, your working place look like? ¿Cómo es que tu área de trabajo se luz, se ve? ¿Ok? Aquí vamos. Pero primero hagamos el listadito. Porque recuerden que de acuerdo a la naturaleza de su empresa es diferente la dependencia. In my, in my case, probably I don't have a, a logistic department. Porque es una institución educativa. No tenemos... Eh, camiones de carga o deliveries, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Y más ahora que trabajamos online. Ok. So here we go. How many people? ¿Alguien está con dos dispositivos? Porque me aparecen. Permítanme, lo vamos a recrear entonces. No puede ser que en un equipo hay en sí. Sí, hay 17 conectados. Ok. Comiencen a trabajar en lo que les envío la invitación, porque me aparecen unos grupos de cuatro y otros de tres. Y el otro. Ok. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ipania, Vanessa. Okay, here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Le voy a enviar la invitación. Vean, hay unos equipos de tres y otros equipos de cuatro. Porque al inicio de la plataforma me los había creado y había un equipo de dos. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open right now the breakout rooms. I sent you the invitation. Ya les envié la invitación. Go to your groups. Okay, okay, okay. Carlos Miguel, I need you. Thank you.
Ah, no estaba. sí, estaba en no, otra no. sala. Si quiere, le... yo o sea, tengo o la pregunta. O presenta, no, si quiere, por Okay. Bien, acá están cuatro personas, ¿verdad? Uh, Dani, Clelia, Milagro, en Verónica, ¿ok? Uh, yes. Si trabaja alguno de ustedes en la misma compañía, describen lugares diferentes, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Sí, para, para que haya variete, variete. Ok, bye. 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 Bárbara, está solo de oyente, disculpa. Bárbara, hola Bárbara. Hola, hola. Eh, sí va a interactuar con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 estoy con, con Noé. Ok, con Noé, con Ana Marlene y con Filomena, ¿ok? Ajá. Ahí, ahí, sí, ya, ahí ya, no, ya, ya terminé de hacer mi... Su listado. Eh, mi listado, ahí avisa cuando hayan terminado alguno ahí para... Ajá, para eh, poder leerlo, ¿ok? Es perfecto. Correcto, sí. oh, very well. Hello, William Francisco, Carlos Miguel, and Jose Pacheco. Everybody is okay, working in the activity. Todos están bien, trabajando en la actividad o alguien tiene alguna dificultad. Uh, with the screen share. Ah, para compartir. Screen sharing. Okay. Share nos. Okay, ¿Quién, ¿quién va a compartir? Carlos Miguel o William? O Mr. Pacheco. No tenemos la imagen. Si nos la puedes enviar, pensamos que... Ah, se la voy a compartir y le toman una screenshot. Por favor. Este no la puedo enviar. Espero no se haya borrado. Vamos. Sí. Ya se borró. Mm, <coughs> le, voy a, le voy a hacer una cosa. Voy a ir y le voy a pedir. Quiero ver si alguien la compartió. Porque Verónica no. veía que la tenía en el equipo 1. Permítanme, voy a ir al equipo 1 para que lo compartan, ok. Eh, vía WhatsApp y luego regreso. Ok, ok. They, they use a cafeteria. 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 Ok, uh, yeah. I'm sorry for the interruption. Miss Veronica or Miss uh, Madeline, I don't know who has, quien tiene la screenshot de lo que les compartí, de las oraciones y la pregunta. Ah, Ahí yo lo tengo. Para que la sí. compartan vía WhatsApp, porque hay un equipo que no las tiene. Si me ok, hace ahorita se los envío. Ok, no. thank you. Bye, sorry for the interruption. Bye. Okay. 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 ok, guys, William Francisco, José Pacheco, y Carlos Miguel, ya les van a compartir vía WhatsApp la, la imagen de las preguntas. Y cómo van a estructurar ustedes la, la ok. Gracias. Sus oraciones, ok, solamente es, there is a cafeteria, there is a parking lot, there is a, an accounting department, los departamentos que tienen ustedes ahí en su compañía, ya los compartieron vía WhatsApp, ok. Y luego las lee cada quien, sí. Ok, William, José Pacheco, en Carlos Miguel, ya les compartieron. Ahorita, okay, gracias. Ok, bye. Ok, no problem here, guys. No hay problemas acá, chicos. Ok, no difficulties. Great, excellent. Business. Um, there is a administrative area. There is auditors area. And there is rakes area. And, mm. and there is box area. Okay, listen. There is a cafeteria, it's okay. There is a parking lot, it's okay. There is a bathroom for employees. Hay un baño para los empleados, solo un baño. No, dos. There are, there are okay, okay. dos son, o más de dos. Para género de, 
Una para las la mujeres y una para los hombres. Ah, so there sure, are sure. there are bathrooms for employees. Bathrooms for yes. employees. There are many computers. There is a photocopier. Uh, photocopy machine. Photocopy machine. machine. Ah, okay. Ajá, pero no photocopier, sino que photocopy. Con Y. Yes, with Y. Photocopy machine. Okay. Es la máquina en sí, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Y es cafetería la que hay o es um, eh, es coffee station? Área, como área de cocina, algo así. No, es, es, cafetería. es cafetería. En este caso es cafetería, porque sí. solamente está la cafetera no. eh, with the sugar and next to that there is a water fountain. Hay una uh, oasis de agua. Entonces sería coffee station, coffee, coffee station. station, ¿sí? Porque solo vas Estación a ganar café. café, ¿sí? sí también station. hay, también Ajá. hay. Entonces coffee Después. station, there is a coffee station. Y en algunos lugares, como, como hay tanto personal que en cada, en each uh, area, there is a coffee station, ¿yes? Bueno, Dependiendo ahí de la naturaleza, ¿ok? Very there is a nice. coffee station, yes, that's it. For, y for en otros the lugares there is a cafeteria porque la empresa no le da café sino que hay cafetería y lo van a comprar los empleados sí y van a comer ahí también ok, okay it sí. depends okay. pero ahí cada quien describe lo que hay porque las dependencias son diferentes y los departamentos que hay uh, probably uh, there is there is an accounting department there is uh, a marketing department there is an IT department an IT department, si es que hay, or in other companies, they have uh, an administrative administrative area, yeah? Area. Okay. Eh, puse, pueden eh, los, los IT eh, eh, subcontratados que no están en la compañía, sino que llegan a darles el servicio. Entonces no hay IT department. Como el outsourcing. Mm. Mm. Algo así. En mi caso, Ay, en mi caso solo tengo departamentos, no tengo esa cuestión de cafetería. Por esto nada. usted tiene que escribir las suyas, cada quien escribe las suyas, porque se las tiene que leer a los compañeros, ¿sí? Ya, ya las tengo yo, teacher. Ya las ah, tengo. ok, vaya, entonces ahí compártanlas. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sí, más que todo les compartía la, la, la pregunta para... Ajá, no, pero, pero, ajá, pero por eso le digo, porque como acá escribieron there is a coffee station y alguien decía, no, pero es que es cafetería, pues sí, en su compañía es there is a cafeteria, but in other place, in your partner's workplace, there is a coffee station. Porque yo le puedo decir, no, en mi, en, o pueden haber ambas, there is a coffee station en a cafeteria y una cafetería, sí, para que vayan a almorzar los empleados, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Y en otros lugares, there is no cafeteria. El negativo. Uh -huh, correcto. Ok, bye. Bye. Okay. Very well done. Continue. Miriam. <laughs> no, Miriam. 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 Bye. Eh, ahora, ¿qué otra palabra? Nueva. Mm. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice, por ejemplo, hay, hay lockers para objetos personales? There are, there are some lockers. Locker es locker, porque ya está en inglés. Lockers, son casilleros. Ah, vale. Okay, there are some lockers. Cabal. There are some lockers. Ah, cabal. Hay, hay muchos. There are some lockers. Sí. Ya practicamos entre todos. Volvemos a, re, a, a decir. Ajá, sí, porque me gustaría escucharla. Vaya, este, Dani, which are the places that you can see in your workplace? Dani, Rose. Dani, Reed. Ah, conmigo. Yes, really. Okay. Uh, there is a parking. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a dispatch 
area. Dispatch. Uh -huh. There is a fronted. There is a human resource department. There is a information information department. Fin. That's all, or that's it. En lugar de decir fin, that's it. Eso that's, es todo, okay? That's, or that's all, folks. Like uh, Bugs Bunny says, that's all, folks. Es todo, amigos. Yeah. Okay, Miss Clelia, I would like to listen to your list. Uh, pregunta o la digo? No, your, your, your. Ah, vale. Okay, your there sentences. Are, there are many desks. There is a cafeteria, there is a kitchen, there is a copy center, there are many computers, there are machines to sublimate, there is a human resources department. Human resources, resources. Ah, resources. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that's, that's it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now the girls, Miss Madeline. Okay. There is a cafeteria. There is a finance department. There are six elevators. They are 10 level the building. There is legal department. There are four meeting rooms. There is a marketing department. There is a reception. Ok, very well. Y ahora vamos a ir sobre extensión de esas oraciones, pero vamos a ver los ejemplos que les voy a presentar, porque la reception, ¿cómo es la recepción? En su oficina, Madeline, en su compañía. There is a nice, big, and, there is a nice and big front desk or reception desk, for example, or there is a small uh, reception desk. Yes, ahí vamos a ver. It is, is it wide, es amplia. Okay, vamos a utilizar varios adjetivos, pero vamos a ver cómo se formulan estas oraciones. Es decir, van a ampliar la descripción que han leído, ¿sí? Okay, let's get back. Congratulations. Thank well you. done. Let's wait for Ana Marlene, Jose Pacheco, Carlos Miguel, and William. Teacher, para decir bodega. Warehouse. Warehouse. Warehouse or storage room. Okay. Depende si es solo un cuarto o hay una bodega ya más grande, es warehouse. With W, okay, on uh, W means warehouse. Okay, yeah. class, now that I have uh, been monitoring your work in the groups and uh, congratulations, you did a good job, but now we're going to work deeper on those sentences. You're going to make them longer here. Read the description of Mr. Pass and Mrs. Aguilar's workplaces. Can you guess where they work? Okay, first let's listen to what Mr. Paz says, how he describes his space. In my workplace, there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. Huge is more than bigger. Okay, huge, enorme, gigantesco parking lots. 
there are three high tech elevators, high tech, not only elevators, high tech elevators. Where do you think he works? ¿Dónde creen que trabaja él? There is hotel. Probably in a hotel. Hotel. Okay, because there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. Enorme el parqueo. There are three high-tech elevators, yeah? Maybe in a five-star uh, hotel, right? Now let's listen to what Mrs. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Aguilar. Here there's a mistake. Because it is a woman, it cannot be Mr. It is Mrs. So you add S. Le agregan una S. She says, there is a narrow reception. Narrow. Wide. Narrow. ¿Qué querrá decir narrow? Wide. Narrow. Narrow. Angosta. Estrecha. Angosta. Okay. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dairy dining rooms. Uh, disgusting. Dairy dining rooms. Hay dos dining rooms, pero como son dairy oak. They are not clean. They are dairy. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is an ugly, ugly photocopy center. Fair. Fair is a copy center. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. There are small offices. Where do you think that she works? There is a narrow reception area. There are two and maybe there are <laughs> okay. dining rooms because if there are many people, yeah, you know, not everybody can be clean, yes. Um, but from now on, with the new law <laughs> in our countries, if you throw the, the garbage on the street or in different places, you're going to get a fine. Van a obtener una multa quienes tienen basura, ¿verdad? Okay, because we need to learn uh, how to be clean, to have a clean space. There are two dairy dining rooms, uh, probably in a call center. Okay, very good. Now, here, look at this. You are going to continue working on your sentences in the breakout rooms. But for example, if you say, I heard that one of you was reading. There is um, there is a human resources department. You may say there is a big human resources department or there is a small, si solo hay dos personas o una persona en unas ocasiones en el human resources, ¿verdad? Que le hace de manager. ¿De, de qué más le hace? Secretaria. Eh, Secretary, uh -huh, yeah, multipurpose, multitasking, multitasking. And then you say there is a small human resources department or communications department. Yeah. In some places, there is only one person, but it is the, the communications department or area, or there are five people, depending on the nature of the, of the company. And then you're going to use the adjectives to give a better description of uh, the places, areas that you have in your office, in your workplace, okay? Vamos a ampliar para que sea algo parecido a lo que por acá tenemos en la descripción que Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar uh, express como ellos describen narrow, dairy, uh, ugly, small, or beautiful, nice, clean, Okay, fresh, and uh, there is a fresh area to rest. Sí, porque hay en algunos lugares donde tienen unos espacios muy frescos, outdoors, okay? Fuera de la oficina, in a tea race, so you can relax for a while. And here you have the positive adjectives, beautiful, comfortable, huge, and high-tech, but narrow is the opposite of wide. Dairy is negative, the opposite of clean. Ugly is the opposite of beautiful, nice, or pretty. Small is the opposite of big, okay, or huge. Porque uh, sometimes you only have that space exactly 
And if you move, you touch the other partner, yeah? Okay. And when you finish, okay, you read because it is about the reality. Es sobre su realidad, yeah? And as somebody said, when I was reading here, there are two dairy dining rooms. You said, ah, oh, in a call center. I confirm, says the other partner, okay? And you read to your partners when you finish that activity, then you're going to go over here. Read the information again to answer the questions, okay? If in base a esto que está acá, okay? You're going to answer questions. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? On which of the two places, places, but it is places, okay? Do you want to work and why? Would you like to work in the place where Mr. Paz works or where Mrs. Aguilar works, okay? Acá, en cuál de los esos dos lugares le gustaría trabajar? But it is your opinion and you say why. Y escriben por qué. Ready? Here we go. Okay, I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Join okay, your teacher. groups. Okay, I sent you the invitation. Join your groups. Okay. Carlos Miguel and William, I need you in group number three. William, William Francisco Flores, in group number three, please, if you are so nice. William, we need you in group number three. Thank you. Okay. Remember that it is according to your own appreciation, okay? And to be honest, because it is what it is, yeah? And your realities are different. Y sus realidades son diferentes. Okay? Ahí escriben, pueden ser adjetivos positivos o negativos, okay? Opositos. Teacher, ahí siempre es importante, ¿verdad? Que cuando redactamos oraciones donde llevan un adjetivo, el adjetivo va It's antes before. que el sustantivo, ¿verdad? Yes, before okay. El beautiful, beautiful office, comfortable office, uncomfortable office, ¿ok? So, okay. Very well, yes. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. Lo que es Mr. Paz. Sí, el, el, ah, usted, va, ah, usted va a despedir ahí cómo es su trabajo o las áreas de su trabajo. Ah, okay. You can use positive or negative adjectives de, according to your reality, ¿ok? De acuerdo a la realidad de, en, su, en su puesto de trabajo, en la oficina, en el lugar de trabajo, ahí puede utilizar adjetivos afirmativos, positivos o negativos. And remember that the position of the adjectives, they go before the noun. Recuerden la posición de los adjetivos, va antes de el nombre o sustantivo a describir. For example, narrow reception area. Dirty dining rooms. Okay? Los eh, comedores son sucios. Ugly photocopy center. Ugly. Yes, Miss. Y aquí, teacher, sería correcto usar. There is a cool office. There is a cool office or there are cool offices. Porque todas que son, que son bien frías, son bien frías en lugares de trabajo. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, there are, there are very cool or very cold, mejor heladas, frías. There are very cold offices. Yo puse otra aquí que dice, there is a beautiful view. There is a beautiful view. Como estamos en, un, en, un, en una tercera segunda planta. Ajá, uh -huh, there is a beautiful view. Yes, that's okay. Ahí no sé si los demás compañeros ya terminaron la... Mm, creo que todavía las están trabajando. No. Okay. Andan buscando los adjetivos. ¿Ya? Mm. Okay, see you. Bye. Hey.
Ok. Carlos creo que tiene problemas, ¿verdad, teacher? I don't know. Carlos Miguel, are you available? Está disponible, Carlos Miguel. Ah, ok, sí, porque acá sus compañeros estaban preguntando que si, que si estaba disponible para practicar con, con ellos. Bueno, yo ya tengo. Eh, William, si quiere. Eh, no, le la... voy a preguntar ahí. Eh. Dale, pues. Which are the places that you can see you in your in your workplace? Uh, teacher, is is the continuous that the the large? Uh, uh -huh. Yes, yes, but you are going to add a negative or a positive adjective to the noun in the sentence. Le van a agregar okay. un adjetivo positivo o negativo al nombre en su oración, al nombre o sustantivo. For example, there is a nice copy center. There is a wide copy center. There is a big copy center. There is a comfortable copy center. There is an old copy center. There is a new copy center. Yes, ahí le van a agregar un adjetivo, ya sea a, a positivo o negativo. Carlos Miguel, si no le funciona el micrófono, eh, ya probó salir de, la, de Zoom y volver a ingresar. En ocasiones con eso se soluciona el problema del audio y micrófono. Permítanme. Eh, entonces, este, pregúntame. Y acá dice Carlos que solo por chat, porque dice que no le funciona, me imagino que el micrófono. Oh, es el internet, nos comenta por acá. Aquí en San Miguel bueno. está empezando a llover. Ah, bueno, bueno, entonces, entonces tal vez les escribe por chat sus oraciones, eh, Carlos Miguel, para que la lean sus compañeros. Ok, thank Dale. you. Ay, ok, continue. Sorry for the interruption. No Which are the place? Ok. Vanessa, ¿cómo va? Estoy en esto. Estoy formulando las... las bueno, según el ejemplo que, que está compartiendo ahorita. Ok. Vanessa, lista. Yes. Ya, ya, o ya casi. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Okay. Nice, very nice, very nice. nice. Extremely very nice. nice. Nice, very nice, very extremely nice, nice. Very nice. Okay, very mm -hmm. nice. Okay. No, no, no. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? Mm. A, a very nice workplace. A very nice workplace. Uh, Recuerden que los adjetivos van antes del nombre o sustantivo. Por ejemplo, ugly photocopy center. Copy center, photocopy center es el nombre o sustantivo, ¿verdad? Ugly es el adjetivo, an ugly. Dairy es el adjetivo. Dining rooms es el nombre o sustantivo que estamos calificando. Por eso decimos, there are two dairy dining rooms. Okay. Pero como inicia la oración con mayúscula, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. okay. O si le pone is, is a very también se puede. There is, there, it is, it is a very it nice is. place. It is, es un it lugar is. muy agradable. Ajá. Uh, it is, uh, it's uh, it is. Mm -hmm. It is, yes. A very nice. A, a very nice workplace. Dice cómo, no, qué. What does Mr. Aguilar Mrs. think about? Things. Think about her workplace. Uh, 
are you answering the, the, the questions? Or you didn't finish writing your sentences. Todavía están escribiendo sus oraciones, chicas. ¿Cuántas oraciones tienen que ser? Ah, as many as possible. Porque recuerden que hay compañías que son más grandes que otras. ¿sí? Ah, eso sí. Y hay ah. otras que son más pequeñas. Entonces tienen menos departments. Y por la misma naturaleza. For example, there, in some places there is an accounting department and there is an auditory department. Y tienen una oficina de auditores internos, pero hay otras en las que no tienen auditores, solo contadores. Yes, accounting department. In some companies, there is a marketing department. In some others, there is no marketing department. In some companies, there is a communications department. In others, mm -mm, no communications. The human resources, they do everything because they are multitasking, okay? You may say there is a multitasking human resources department also. Okay. Okay. See you. ¿Cómo un Mr. Fax que describe el lugar, el lugar de trabajo? No me equivoco ahí por el lugar. O sea, las cosas que literalmente dice que es trabajo. Y en la segunda dice, what does you learn? Think about workplace. Ajá, ¿qué es lo que la señorita Gerard piensa acerca de su trabajo? Ah, pues ahí podemos ver que es poco agradable. Dice, on we, one we should, uh, ¿cuál de los dos lugares preferiríamos para trabajar? ¿En su opinión? ¿Cuál de los, cuál de los, ah, cuál de los dos? ¿Y por qué? Ah, ah. ah, ok, muchas gracias. Teacher, en lo de las, de las oraciones que estamos haciendo, este, yo coloqué una que dice, there are small offices. There are small offices. Yes, no. that's okay. Es, es, es smell de, de olor. Smelly. Es smelly. Mm -hmm. Smelly que huele ¿Cómo? mal. No, es, es huele bien, de hecho, porque yo le quería preguntar, porque es, como en la fábrica sí. de pan, estamos ahí a la par, o la fábrica de pan está abajo, o sea, mm -hmm. el al pan, a la vainilla, todo lo que hace. Sí, pero smelly es eh, que no huelen bien. Ajá, pero para decir que... Uh, sentir. Uh, you, you can, you can, uh, for example, say, I'm going to write it in the chat here. Okay. Sentir. Okay. Yeah, did you get it? Here in the chat, I wrote it for you. Sentir. 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 Yes. Eso viene de, de, si de las esencias, las fragancias, yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Sentir. Sentir, ya. Yeah. Sabía que designaba, era como de lo. The smelly is, is not, uh, it is not nice. Okay. Entonces, ahí responderíamos uh -huh. las preguntas. Yes. Entonces, en la primera, eh, teacher, sí podríamos escribir, digamos, literalmente algunas de las descripciones que Mr. Paz. Ajá, how da, no, but how does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? ¿Cómo describe él? O díganme yeah. un adjetivo que ustedes consideran que, eh, que contiene la descripción de su lugar de trabajo. Como yeah. confortable, comfortable. It is a comfortable a uh, workplace or it is a nice and comfortable workplace yes recuerden first the adjective and after the noun that the adjective describes primero el adjetivo y lo, luego el nombre o sustantivo que describe el adjetivo ejemplo small offices small es el adjetivo Offices, el nombre o sustantivo que están calificando, ¿ok? ¿Cómo la califican? Como pequeñas las oficinas. There are small offices. En la segunda, 
Uh -huh. Aquí en mi idea it is. Pone el adjetivo. Yes. It is a. No sé si se puede poner ahí cabe disgusto o solo es como para que. Uh, probably it is a disgusting workplace. It is a disgusting workplace. Y para esta última dice one, one which of the place do you want to work? Ah, pero ahí es eh, opinión de los tres. ¿En cuál lugar le gustaría trabajar? Mr. Paz o Mrs. Aguilar workplace. Ah, y la respuesta sería a the Mr. Paz work. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mr. Paz workplace. And you, the second question, why y por qué le gustaría trabajar ahí? Because it is bla bla bla. Porque es bla 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 y dicen los adjetivos. Because it is a bla 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 place to work. O oh, un solo adjetivo, place to work. It is, puede ser because it is a good. Ajá, a good place to work. Place to work. Uh -huh. Ok. Bye, continue. Bye. No le practicamos, José. José Mejía, Carlos Miguel, William Francisco, and José Pacheco. You are here. We are, we are waiting for Jose Mejia to teach. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, because he arrived a little bit, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Late than you. Later, later than you. Okay, no problem. Under, 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 seable. Mm -hmm. No sé si. What did Así you say? In, eh, indeseable, teacher, la pronunciación, underseable. Pero, ¿qué es lo que Under. quiere decir? Pero, ¿qué quiere estamos, decir? Eh, estamos describiendo el lugar de trabajo de Mrs. Aguilar. Mm. It is a... Underseable? Under, underseable? No. No. <laughs> um, Maybe it is an uncomfortable place to work. Porque hay que ser polite para describir, ¿verdad? Hay que ser como corteses para describir. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. You and uncomfortable. Incómodo. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable place to work. No es cómodo, no es agradable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher, y en la primera pusimos como acogedor, puede ser friendly. Yeah, it is a friendly place or nice okay. place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or comfortable place. Mm -hmm. Porque te sientes cómodo trabajando ahí, ¿ya? Yeah? Yes. Okay. 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 On which of the two places do you want to work? Mm -hmm. Mr. David? Okay. In which place Mama would you like to work in Mr. Paz? Workplace or <laughs> this is Aguilar workplace? And later you have to give a reason why. Por qué le gustaría trabajar ahí o no. Okay. Okay. I want, I want to worry. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to listen. No quiero escuchar mejor. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> Vamos a escribirlo aquí. Ahí. Te dije. 
Ah, Oiga, lo que dice. Sí, cuando, yo... cuando, cuando ponen, cuando alguien ya dice, bienvenido a la teacher, se hace presente. Ajá, you invoke me. Ok, let's see. Ay, permítanme que alguien quiera ingresar. Ah, está bien. Barbara. <risa> ok, hold it. Ok. Here we go. Let's see. It is a very nice workplace. Uh, it is un uncomfortable. Un uncomfortable. Ok, un. Oh, sí. Ay, shame on you. Qué pena. <risa> <risa> Uncomfortable because I already explained that to you today. An uncomfortable workplace. I would like to work with Mr. Pass because it is, uh, it is a very, it is very okay here. It is a very com uh, it is a very comfortable place. Okay. Workplace. It is a very comfortable workplace. Okay. It is. Uh -huh. Be comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Uh -huh. Workplace, workplace. Solo le agrega workplace. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, pronunciation comfortable. Comfortable Com or comfortable. comfortable. Tiene dos pronunciaciones en both are correct. Comfortable, okay. comfortable. Comfor comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Mejor comfortable. Sí, es más comfortable. Más Ajá. Y la otra es comfortable. British people say comfortable. Comfortable. Sí, sí, usted va a dar el pésame ahí a la, Queen, a la familia real. Por Queen Elizabeth, the second, you say uh, it is an uncomfortable moment. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, eh, en británico. Comfortable, uncomfortable moment. Uncomfortable. Okay. okay. They have that accent. But in America, comfortable, uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Me gustaría escuchar las oraciones de ustedes, chicos. So you describe your workplace. Las oraciones de ustedes, de cada quien. Escuchamos a Guillermo Antonio. <laughs> Okay, teacher. Okay, describe your workplace. Uh, number one. Yes. How does Mr. Paz describe? No, no, your sentences. Sus oraciones describiendo su lugar de trabajo. Porque tenían que ampliarlas utilizando los adjetivos, ¿verdad? ya sea positivos o negativos a la actividad previa, ¿sí? Porque ustedes me decían en la actividad anterior, there is a, a cafeteria, sí, pero ¿cómo es la cafetería? Oh. There is a clean and comfortable cafeteria, or the, is it uh, dirty or ugly, smelly, mm. eh, huele mal? ¿Cómo es esa cafetería? Ahí tienen que agregarle eso a sus oraciones. Ya lo hicieron. No, no lo he hecho. No. Vaya, <risa> entonces no tienen que... No le contestes. Vaya, entonces tienen que agregarle ya sea un adjetivo positivo o un adjetivo negativo a las dependencias de su lugar de trabajo, ¿sí? Ok, ok. okay. Pero, pero de acuerdo a la realidad. Ok. Yes. Ok, recuerde, primero va el adjetivo y luego el nombre o sustantivo que se describe, ¿ya? There are por ejemplo, big por, offices, por ejemplo. Aquí, acá, there are small offices. Small es el adjetivo. Offices es el nombre o sustantivo que está calificando este adjetivo. ¿Cómo califica okay. el adjetivo small a las oficinas que son pequeñas? ¿sí? Pequeñas. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Y así, mire, there is an ugly photocopy center. ¿Cómo es el photocopy center? Ugly. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí, ugly si es el adjetivo. Y, teacher, y si, digamos, y, y si es un lugar este, con poca ventilación o, por ejemplo, es caliente o un poco así como cálido, ¿cómo lo puedo eh, poner? Pero, cuando... pero ¿qué, ¿qué oficina es esa? La oficina, por ejemplo, de archivo. 
Okay, sería, there is a hot, a hot file department. Yes. Ah, uh, ok. O sería que no tiene ventilación también, no aire, algo así. No, porque aire sí hay, pero es caliente. Perdón, es... Correcto, pero si no tengo, si no, por decir, no hay área de ventilación, no hay ventilador, no hay este there is, there is aire acondicionado. No, there is no air conditioning in the there is no. Blah, blah, blah. There is no, uh -huh. Asa, así como ayer practicábamos, ¿se recuerda? There is no air conditioning in the blah, blah area. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Bueno, trabajen eso, chicos. En dos minutos regresamos. Okay. Okay. Parking lot with two levels. Almost finished. Casi yes. terminaron, chicos. Okay, great. Yes. Porque van a intercambiar información con los compañeros en el main session room, ok? So get ready with your sentences. Ya sí. se las compartieron acá, ¿verdad? Algunos, por ejemplo, Filomena ya terminó y se la leyó a Marley. Sí. Yes. sí. Okay. En Olso Noé. En Olso Noé. Ok, very yes. well, great. And you already answered the three questions, right? Y ya contestaron las yes. tres preguntas. Ok. So continue practicing pronunciation. Sigan practicando la pronunciación. Sigan leyendo. Ok. 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 The department uh, is a bit small. No sé ¿Cómo, si cómo, también. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo fue eso? No. There is a, a coaching uh, department. Eh, eh, isen a bit small. ¿Qué quiere decir ahí? Quise decir como eh, es, hay un departamento de contabilidad, es un poco pequeño el espacio. Ah, es que... entonces ya les dije, primero va el adjetivo ¿Mm? y luego va el nombre o sustantivo. There is a small. There is a small. There is a small accounting Ajá. department. Ah, ok. There is a small accounting department. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Con eso ya se dice todo, ¿verdad? Sí, there is a small accounting department. Porque recuerde que primero va el adjetivo y luego el nombre o sustantivo que califica el, el adjetivo. ¿Qué decimos del, del accounting department? ¿Qué es small? There is a Small Accounting Department. Y este teacher, bueno, lo que quiero decir aquí es, hay una estación de café con pan, con variedad de pan, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le he colocado así. Eh, there is a coffee and bread station with a varied bread. There is, there is a bread en coffee station, no. Maybe mm -hmm. if we say we it is assorted, but maybe you can say, okay. I'm going to write it in the chat of the of the class. There is a coffee and assorted. Um, Es pan dulce, ¿verdad? Sí, pan dulce. Pastry. There is a coffee and assorted pastry station. Porque es... Um, ok, ya se los compartí ahí. There is a coffee okay. and assorted es variado, variedad. Okay? Uh, okay. Pastry yeah. es el pan dulce, porque bread es el pan en general o pan francés, ¿ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Pastry station. Okay. 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 Le regalan pan dulce. Wow. No regalan pan dulce. Por eso estamos gorditos. Eh, 
Oh, that's why. Oh, yes, because you say you need to go to the gym. But in some companies, they have a gym. Yes. En algunas compañías tienen gimnasio. Sí, no, nosotros solo. Perfecto. Only, only. only. <laughs> okay, but that's good. Ahí es gorda, nada más. Yes. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. Okay. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hola. Hello. Here. Hello. This ranch yeah. is a beautiful lobby, comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, and three high-tech elevators. She describes her workplace as narrow reception area, dairy dining rooms, and small office. I want to work with Mr. Paz because... Aquí tiene que dar la ah, justificación porque... Because. Ah, yeah. Y ahí utilizamos los adjetivos de prueba. Because. Sí, o en una sola palabra lo pueden describir. Because. Because it is. Is. It ¿Cómo is, sería? It is. Ah, it is. Because it is. Because it is. It is. Because it is. It is. Because it is. It is. It is. Because it is. It is. Place a comfortable place. Como se, como, 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 or a, you may add another one because it is a comfortable and nice place to work. Oh, okay. Comfortable, como ya. It can be more than one. It is a comfortable, okay, comfortable. And, and, and nice place to work. Clean. Okay. A and nice and, place to work. Okay. Yeah. And okay. you finish describing your, your workplace. Using positive and negative adjectives. Yes. yes. And did you read to the partners? Le leyeron a los compañeros las oraciones. Yes. Clelia and Dani, they read. Yes. Ya leyeron. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfectly. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you see, it is a sad reality, right? That sometimes you work in a place, but there are some areas that are not so clean or comfortable because people don't cooperate porque la gente no colabora. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though they have people as janitors, they clean and do this, but the employees, mm -mm. that happens everywhere. Yeah. Okay. I think that now we're going to probably get back to the main session room and then you are going to read your your sentences right okay okay so here we go okay great i'm going to close all their rooms and then we wait for the others Very well done, class. You have been working with positive and negative uh, adjectives to describe the places that you can find in your workplace, yeah? So here we go. Uh, they are still coming back because I don't know who is under the name of Karuma, maybe Carlos. Yeah. Here, 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 here. Okay, great. 
And now, here we go. It is the time for you to shine. Es el momento de, de ustedes para brillar. Here we go. I need volunteers to read your sentences. Your sentences, okay? Volunteers. In group number one, we have Ana Veronica, Clelia Estela, Dani, and uh, Miss Madeline. Who's going to be the volunteer? Or do you want me to choose the volunteer? Yo selecciono al volunteer. Okay, I'm going to choose the volunteer. Or do I have a volunteer? Ah, I'm going to select the volunteer. Mm. Miss Veronica, represent your team. Okay. And ya le la oración. Ya le digo. There are comfortable installations. There are some lockers for personal objects. There are many meeting rooms. There are few seats for staff. Mm -hmm. There is a small reception. There, there, there are not many parking lots. Ah, uh, okay. Also, the parking lot is small. Yes. No, no es pequeño, es pequeño, pero, o sea, es grande, pero pagado. Afuera hay que dejar todos los vehículos. Es. No, there is, there is, there is no, there is no, there is no parking lot. Yeah, because you have to pay. So there is no parking lot, okay? Very well, thank you. And now here, <clears throat> team number two, we have Ana Marlene, Filomena, and Noé. Who's going to read? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much, miss. There are small offices. There is a beautiful view. There are very cool offices that are center offices. They are scented offices. They smell very nice, like flowers. Yeah. Very well. Excellent. Like that, that's important. Yes. Now, number three. In team number three, we have Barbara, Jose Mejia, Jose Pacheco, and William Francisco. Who's going to be the volunteer? Barbara, Jose Mejia, Jose Pacheco, or William Francisco? Only one. Uh, okay, I will. Okay, thank you so much for volunteering, Mr. Pacheco. Okay. Um, there is a big manager's office. There is an ugly coffee station. There are a clean knitting room. There are a big planning department. There, there are, there are. There is, there, a is... Big, there is a big planning department. And there is a small IT, IT room. IT, IT. IT room, IT room. There are a clean bathrooms. Uh, there is a narrow warehouse. There are a big dye uh, and bleaching department. Okay, thank you so much. Now in the next team, we need a representative, David, Emmanuel, Vanessa, and who else was with you? ¿Y quién más estaba con ustedes, chicos? Me. Ivania, okay, who's going to read? Ivania, Yo. okay, Ivania, go ahead. <laughs> read the sentences, please. Thank you, Ivania. <laughs> You're welcome. There is a big parking lot. There is a small office. Uh, there is a comfortable rest area. Resting area. Resting area. There is a huge warehouse. There is a dirty dining room. Um, there is a big mechanical workshop. Okay, thank you, Miss. Very well done. Next team, we have Guillermo, Jonathan, and Serafin Constanza. Only boys in that group who's going to be the very brave boy. 
Who's the super champion in that group? Serafín Costanza, que el pasado. Ah, he wants no, to be the super like, champion. No. Okay. Oh, you're not the super champion, Serafín. Come on. No, no. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. They Jonathan. have a vote here. Jonathan, you, are, Jonathan. you are their candidate. Yes. Okay. Okay, there is, there is a peaceful cafeteria. Peaceful cafeteria? Peaceful cafeteria. Uh, there are clean toilets for employees. Excellent. Toilets. Yes. Uh, there are many advanced computers. Okay. This is correct. Yes, that's correct. Yes. There is an old photocopy, photocopy machine. Uh -huh. Machine. 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 Okay. There is a very nice coffee station. Uh, there is a, a space. A espacioso, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Specials, specials. There is a specials AT department. Okay. Or you say you say uh, specials uh, IT department or wide, wide well, amplio. Uh -huh. well, yes. Okay. Very well. Congratulations, yeah. super champions. You did it. Do you have more sentences, Jonathan? Más oraciones, Jonathan. Oh, okay, great, excellent. Thanks for your participation. Now I need you to activate your cameras because I'm going to take the second attendance and later we're going to continue with the next activity, okay? That is going to be held in the breakout rooms. So that is why I'm going to take the attendance right now. Marlene, Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene, where are you? Marlene, she lost the connectivity. Marlene, Marlene, okay. Bye. No, Ana Marlene is not here. Mm, very sad. Uh, Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you. Ana Barbara, uh, Barbara. Oh, because Ana Veronica, Ana Marlene. <laughs> I, I, okay, Barbara. Barbara Susana. Thank you. Present. Okay, Carlos Miguel. He lost the connectivity. Clelia. Present. Always here. Danny. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present. Thank you. Francisco, Enrique, Guillermo. Present. Ivania Elizabeth. Here I am. Great. Jonathan, Jonathan, yeah. Jonathan. Thank yeah. you. Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Karina Vanessa. Vane. Present. Thank you. Milagro Mabelin, Miss Mabelin. Present, present. Noé, where are you, Noé? Present, teacher. Okay, Noé has had a good connectivity today. Serafín, where are you, Serafín? I don't see you, I don't see you. Here I am. Veo, no lo veo. Here I am. Oh, really, but I don't see you. We don't see you. <laughs> no lo vemos, no lo vemos. Uh, William Francisco. Present. Okay. Here I am, here I am, teacher. <laughs> am. Really, but we don't see you. We, we cannot testify that because we don't see you. No podemos testificar porque maybe you are at the beach right now. Huh? Okay, class, let's continue. And here we go. Very well done. Let's remember that here, when we build a sentence using an adjective, recordemos que cuando utilizamos un adjetivo, utiliza eh, una oración utilizando un adjetivo o varios adjetivos, el adjetivo va antes de nombre o sustantivo que se califica, porque la función del adjetivo es calificar un nombre o sustantivo. For example, if we say, okay, there. There is a mm, there is a tall building. En este caso, ¿cuál es el adjetivo? There is oh. a tall building. Tall, uh -huh. tall. Tall. 
¿Y cuál es el nombre eh, sustantivo? Building, building, edificio. Entonces, ¿qué decimos del edificio? Que es alto. alto, que es un gran edificio hacia arriba, alto, ¿verdad? Por eso decimos tall. There is a tall building. Entonces, en inglés, los adjetivos van antes del nombre o sustantivo que califica el adjetivo. Por eso son adjetivos calificativos, porque dan un, una opinión, ¿verdad? Si decimos there are many hmm, beautiful girls in my English class. Okay. ¿Qué digo de las chicas que están en mi clase de inglés? Thank you, teacher. <laughs> yes, obviously, obviously. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Beautiful girls in my class. And now we can say it is an old house. ¿Qué digo de la casa? It's old. Uh -huh, it's that it is old. So this is the substantive, okay, or noun, and this is the adjective. Sí, se fijan. Primero va el adjetivo que califica al nombre o sustantivo del que se va a decir algo. Sí, okay. Y miren acá, an old. Utilizamos a en an, porque la siguiente palabra comienza con vowel sound, ¿ok? No nos olvidemos de esto. Comments or questions about this uh, activity? No? Bien. No. Ok, great. And now here we go. Addresses and places, positive adjectives and negative adjectives, what I was telling you. There are comfortable rooms. There are uncomfortable rooms, should be the negative. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. Fíjense, los adjetivos no se pluralizan como en español, a lo que vamos a convertir en plurales al nombre o sustantivo. There are nice places, lugares agradables cuando lo interpretamos a español, pero el adjetivo nice for singular or plural, ¿ok? There is an illuminated training room. Now the negative adjectives. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. Disgusting is worse than dirty. Okay, disgusting is peor que dirty. Like that, okay? Sucia, asquerosa. Ajá, uh -huh, asquerosa. Disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Smelly cuando huele mal, maloliente. There is a smelly living room. Tenemos acá a porque la siguiente palabra smelly. No es smelly, no. Smelly. How do you pronounce this letter? S. S in English. Smelly, smelly, okay, smelly, disgusting, narrow, comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. Fíjense que acá, smelly living room. Acá solamente es uno, pero es smelly. Acá, disgusting and narrow reception area. Todos están en singular, pero el adjetivo, ya sea singular o plural, se mantiene. Lo que vamos a convertir en plural son los nombres o sustantivos. En el caso de there are comfortable rooms, solamente le agregamos para pluralizar la oración la S al nombre o sustantivo, rooms. Pero los adjetivos en English, you never pluralize them. Nunca los vamos a pluralizar. Now, what are you going to do in this second exercise, okay? In exercise number five. I need one volunteer to read these instructions. Okay, who's going to read these instructions for the class? Complete the sentence using the words provide and the correct verb. Very well. Listen, two in one. Complete the sentences. Number one, using the words provided and the correct 
verb form. Vamos a utilizar la forma correcta del verbo. Okay, for example, a small gym. What are we going to write over here? Utilizando is, como base. Okay, let's see. There is. There, there is. Uh -huh. A small gym. A small gym. Uy. Gym. gym. Like this, yeah? There is a small there is a small gym. And now you continue with number two, three, four, five, and six. You have two number twos, but it is two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? And what are you going to do after you do this? You're going to tell a partner a description of all the areas in your workplace. Take notes about your classmates description to share later to the class porque luego van a reportar lo que sus compañeros les dijeron sobre sus áreas de trabajo, okay? So you have cubicle, tiny, you have a small and tiny. It's a smaller, the smallest, tiny, diminuto, pero menos que pequeño, pequeñísimo, menos que pequeñísimo, diminuto, <laughs> cubicles, because I don't know if in, in the call centers they are, kind of wide or small or tiny. It depends, okay? Teacher. On this, uh, yes? A difference in small, tiny, and little. Okay. Mm. Okay, hold it. Here. There is a small house in front of the park. Yeah. There is a small house. Maybe it is my, uh, maybe it is your house or maybe um, your, your manager's house, a small house in front of the park, or maybe your house or my house. But if I say there is a tiny house in front of the park, this is smaller than small, más pequeña que pequeña. Es diminuta, pequeñita, probablemente la de los, uh, donde fue a, a, a dormir Snow White, Snow White, <laughs> donde fue a dormir Blancanieves, Snow White, ya, yeah? tiny, like this tiny, pequeñísimas, ya, yeah? and you have little, we can use little with countable and uncountable nouns. Podemos usar little con los nombres contables y no contables. There is a little house. Hay una casa pequeña. Sí, pero sería en medio de estas dos, quizás. Uh -huh. Entre medio de estas dos el tamaño. Sí, porque tiny es lo más diminuto que pueda haber. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. okay. My pleasure. Finish with the sentences. Yes. Hey, wow, congratulations. Okay, excellent. We're going to give a couple of minutes for your partners to finish building uh, the sentences and later we're going to double check or would you like to share it in the breakout rooms, the building of the sentences? ¿Le gustaría construirlas en, el, en el breakout rooms para comparar con los compañeros? Yes or individually? Individual. Okay, continue individually. Yes, Miss, yes. tell me, tell me. Como, okay. uh, how do you say uh, number five? Five? Number no, five, five? <laughs> <laughs> number five, five? <laughs> 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 es que dice un pleasa. <laughs> um, okay, you have, okay, li listen very well. 
we have here. Okay, you have the affirmative pleasant. pleasant. This is the positive and the negative okay. unpleasant. Okay. Unpleasant because number five is five. Yeah. But this is pleasant, <laughs> unpleasant. Unpleasant. This is the affirmative and this is the negative. Okay. Pleasant, okay. unpleasant. Remember that we can use uh, positive or negative adjectives to describe people, things, objects, or animals. There is a little cat. Hay un gatito. O hay un gato pequeño. Okay. En algunos casos podemos utilizar small y en otros little. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and then we're going to to double check, okay, to compare, because you need to put into practice the correct word order of the sentences. Necesitan practicar el orden correcto de las palabras en una oración, yeah, because using the words provided and the correct verb form, y el correcto verbo, la forma verbal, yeah. Okay, class finished. finished. Okay, let's see. Let's try to work with number two. Okay, here, new training rooms. The sentence should be? There are. Okay, there are. New training rooms. There are. New training rooms. Okay. Here, number three, clean cafeterias. Hello. The sentence there, should, there, there are, are clean, clean cafeterias. cafeterias. In number four, there is. There is. A smart. A smart. Meeting room. Meeting room. Remember that when we say in this case, a smart meeting room is because of the technology, right? Because smart is usually for people, but we can also say nowadays, en la actualidad podemos decir smart TV, porque tiene otras aplicaciones que no tenían los anteriores modelos, ¿ya? Now, unpleasant bathrooms. 
there are. there is or oh, are. there are unpleasant bathrooms bathrooms okay and the last one tiny there is there is there is a tiny tiny cubicle tiny. cubicle 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 okay and that's it there is a tiny cubicle there is a small gym there are new training rooms there are clean cafeterias there is a smart meeting room there are unpleasant bathrooms there is a tiny cubicle okay now you're going to describe not all the not all the because of the time you're not going to describe all the places uh, or, or the areas in your workplace, but you're going to describe your place, okay? Your office or the space where you work. For example, you may say there is a small desk or a big desk. There is a comfortable chair or there is an uncomfortable chair in la que usted se siente en su oficina. There is uh, fresh water. There is um, a nice and clean coffee station. I don't know. You use it. You use the adjectives, positive or negative. Okay, here we go. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Okay. In two sentences or three sentences, you describe the place, the area where you work. Your space. Su espacio es el que van a describir en este momento, ¿ok? Here. No complicándonos mucho. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Please go to your workplace. Guillermo, ¿en cuál equipo estaba con quiénes? Con Jonathan y Serafín. Ok. Go to your group. Ivania, your partners were? ¿Quiénes eran sus compañeros? Ivania. Vanessa. Okay, here we go. Join group number four, Miss. And Barbara, please join group number three. Eh, Serafín, una hacia el equipo cinco, por favor. Okay, thank you. You say two or three sentences uh, describing your space, the space where you work, okay? Okay. Okay. So you may say, uh, I work in a clean, in a clean uh, area or in a, in a small area, okay? two or three adjectives, and that's it. Positive okay. or negative, it depends. Pleasant or unpleasant, cold or hot office, I don't know. Okay. I work in... <laughs> Bye. Eh, entonces sí sería este nuestro, al final nuestro lugar de trabajo, nuestro cuarto, entonces. <laughs> Teacher, nuestro lugar de trabajo, workplace is home. <laughs> Your yeah. room at home. Yes. At yes. home. Because you work from home. Yes. At home. Yes. But you don't sí. live together. Sí. Pero no. No. <laughs> Or yes, no. you live. No, o sea, no. sí trabajamos aquí, pero vamos a clientes. Hoy tuve clientes. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Y el tiempo estoy acá. Ajá, ah, okay. estamos entre casa, oficina, ah, okay. este, y clientes de okay, empresas. Ok, so describe. Mm -hmm. Vaya, entonces vamos a at home mejor. Eh, ¿Qué digo aquí? ¿Qué digo? Okay, here guys, describe in one or two sentences. Describe your, your space, space where you work. Describan el espacio donde trabajan. Okay, no es. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Bueno, yo trabajo en la oficina, no sé si Ajá. puede ser there is a small office. Ajá. Es bien pequeño el espacio yeah. que yo tengo. Ajá. Mm. Bueno, no sé, creo que. It is uncomfortable. Sí. Ajá. No. No, ok. It is, it is. Sí. Ok, there is a small office and there is a comfortable office, yes? Because um, my office okay. is small and comfortable. Small and comfortable. Ok, es confortable, a pesar de que es pequeña. Ajá. En una oración uh -huh. puede poner los dos adjetivos. Ok. Ok, bye. Bye. Bye, chica. Sí. Solamente algo de fuerza mayor. Solo de fuerza mayor, digo que sí. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Ayuda. Help me. <risa> ¿Cómo sería? Necesitamos ayuda. Sí, ok, sí. tell me. Tell me, así. Dígame, dígame. We need help. No nos quedó muy claro lo que es la tarea que vamos a hacer. Solo van a describir en una o dos oraciones su espacio de trabajo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, there is a, a comfortable, clean and nice office. Y ahí está en una oración, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Está bien, es teacher. el espacio suyo, su oficina o su espacio, si comparte con otros, o solo es su, usted. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Y así es uno o dos adjetivos para describir su lugar de trabajo, su espacio específicamente, ¿ok? El ambiente prácticamente. Ya, yeah, yeah, that's it. Pequeño, si es limpio, yeah, negativo, that's it. positivo. Excelente, excelente, that's it, yes. Okay. Okay. ok, no problem. No problem, teacher. Ok, great, excellent. Ok, class, listen, because of the time, we're going to continue with this activity the day after tomorrow on Friday. And Miss Ivania Elizabeth, where are you, Miss Ivania? Ivania Olmedo. <laughs> Miss Ivania, voy a necesitar que se quede conmigo un ratito. Vamos a, you need to talk seriously. Necesitamos okay. hablar seriamente. Seriously <laughs> and deeply, ok? Ok. But let's wait for the others. And as I was telling you, let's wait for William, Filomena, and Noah. Ok, listen class. On Friday, we have a class because it is online and we didn't receive from Mr. Corp any other instruction. So we need to meet because it is a different system, okay? Porque hay fecha de inicio y fecha de finalización, ¿sí? Ellos dan la fecha de inicio, tienen que iniciar ya y tienen que finalizar este día, okay? A no ser que sea catástrofe, pero ellos lo, lo, lo informan. So we're going to have a class the day after tomorrow. El viernes tenemos clase a las 8 de la noche. Sería nuestra clase número 19, okay? But by now, happy, <laughs> happy dreams, okay? Sleep well okay, and see you Monday. See you week. See you Friday. See you Friday. <laughs> Enjoy the Independence Day. Okay? Sleep well. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Happy. Day. Have a good night and have a relaxing night. It is very fresh night. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, bye. teacher. Bye. 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 Take care. bye. Only Miss Ivania stays with me. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Have a good night. Happy sleep. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Ivania, veamos. Yes, teacher. Uh, any problem with the structures for today to describe uh, your workplace or your space? No, teacher. Vaya, veamos. Descríbame your space. Descríbame su lugar de trabajo. El exactamente donde usted trabaja. Su espacio. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, there is a small desk uh -huh. and there is a comfortable chair and there is 
a cafe a area cafeteria o cafeteria cafeteria pero, pero 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 cómo es esa cafetería how does it, it look like clean <laughs> ah there is a clean cafeteria okay there is a clean cafeteria yes and, and, and there is a um, el, eh, ¿Cómo se dice ambiente? Environment. Environment nice. There is a nice environment. Yes. There is a nice environment. Okay, now describe what you have on your desk. En el okay. trabajo. ¿Qué es lo que tiene en su escritorio? Es en sí. Yes. Uh -huh. And using the prepositions of place and the adjective, positive or negative, okay? Okay. Eh, ahí tengo que usar las, las eh, es que como no estuve en la clase de ayer, no sé. No, pero puede usar cualquiera de las preposiciones de, de lugar, in, on, at, in front of, next to, behind, under, below. Okay. Porque como me va a describir lo que tiene en el escritorio, sí. Ok. okay. Eh, in front. There in, is. There is in front. Of, ¿Qué es lo que, que, que hay? Sí, pero. There is in front. ¿Qué es lo que hay ahí enfrente? A window. Entonces, ¿cómo construimos esa oración en inglés? ¿Y cómo es la ventana? Uh, big okay let's see and you tell me if it is correct okay we say there is there is a big window window okay what else okay um, there is a computer And where is the computer? There is a computer. Tell me the location. Um, la ubicación en referencia, si está a la par de algo, detrás de algo, enfrente de algo o sobre algo. ¿Qué? There is a computer. In or Okay, behind. Behind to the photocopy. Behind to, to photo. Photo copy machines. Machine. And what about the machines? Are they big, small? Uh, small. Uh, behind two small photocopy machines. Yes? Yes. Okay. Because here you give more details, you are more specific in your description. Yes. Okay. Okay. Continue. And um, there is a. Como digo, over sería verdad sobre. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a over this. Um, ¿Qué es lo que hay sobre el escritorio? Que, co, como digo, el, eh, como el, eh, un es, el estuche de lápices, el... There is a pencil case. A pencil case. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. On the desk. On the desk. Ok, on the desk. Porque okay. on es sobre la superficie, ¿sí? Ah, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. on the desk. There is okay. a pencil case on the desk. Y el pencil okay. case is um, old, new, beautiful, ugly. Beautiful. Okay. okay, there is a beautiful pencil case on the desk. Yes? Okay. Okay, another um, one. There is a big box a big box um, a big box of una caja grande de 
documents. Of documents. ¿Y eso dónde está? ¿Encima del escritorio, a la par, abajo? ¿O, o atrás, adelante, dónde? There is a big box of documents. A la par. ¿Del escritorio? Yes. There is a big box of documents next to next the desk. To the, the desk. Uh -huh, next okay. to the desk. Okay, and there is a, a small um, pizarra. Uh, is it white board or green board? White. There is a small white board. ¿Dónde está? Ubicada. Front. In front of? In front of the desk. Okay. Off to the desk. In front of the desk. In front mm -hmm. of. Hasta ahí. In front okay. of the desk. So that's it. That's Nada it. Más. Nada más hay sobre el escritorio. Flowers, a cup of coffee, nothing. Nothing. La agenda, the mouse. No. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, very well. So we have, there is a big window. There is a computer behind two small photocopy machines. There is a beautiful pencil case on the desk. There is a big box of documents next to the desk. There is a small whiteboard in front of the desk, okay? okay. Al final va, eh, acá, there is a small whiteboard. Whiteboard, de hecho tendría que ser solo el sustantivo board, porque puede ser whiteboard, greenboard, or blackboard, ¿verdad? Dependiendo okay. del tipo de pizarra. Y acá, um, a big box. Box es el nombre o sustantivo y big es el adjetivo. Entonces, uh -huh. veamos el orden de las palabras, ¿sí? Pencil uh -huh. case es el porta lápices. Yes. Beautiful is the adjective. ¿Qué decimos yes. del de sustantivo que es beautiful, sí? Yes. Y acá, the computer. Tell me something about the computer. Is it new, modern, old? New. Okay. There is a new. Uy. There is a new computer. So here we have the noun or substantive is computer. New is the adjective qualifying the word computer. Yes? Yes. Y ahí tenemos el, the correct order of the words and the correct verb. Is, y todas son en singular. Miren la que comentó. Is, no hay ni una en plural. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. So now... Because you told me that you were absent yesterday, right? Ayer yes. estuvo ausente. Okay. Le hago un repasito. Tal vez, no sé si estuvo presente en lo... Ayer comenzamos a ver there is and there are. Y les decía que there is is for singular and there are is for plural. But the meaning is the same. El significado es el mismo. Nada más que en inglés tenemos is and are. La diferencia es is para singular y are is para plural. ¿De acuerdo? There is okay. an ATM across the street. Y acá tiene, mire, la preposición de lugar, across, frente mm -hmm. a. Automatic teller machine, lo que le llaman cajero, ¿verdad? Automatic. And then there's a, a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Y acá hay un o una. Siempre tenemos que decir un o una. Y atención que siempre se mantiene, por ejemplo, an cuando la siguiente palabra comienza con sonido de vocal, ¿de acuerdo? De vocal. Yes. Y acá tenemos, there are a lot of, hay muchos o muchas. There are some, hay algunos supermercados, ¿sí? There are no hospitals on various street. No hay hospitales. Esta estructura, no Puede ser para singular o plural, porque acá, there's no clothing factory around the corner. No hay fábricas de ropa. De ropa. No hay fábrica de ropa alrededor de la esquina, ¿sí? Entonces, eso veíamos ayer, cómo utilizar el cuantificador es a lot of, some, no. 
an o a. ¿Por qué le llamamos cuantificador? Porque nos dice la cantidad, ¿sí? Uh -huh. La cantidad de los elementos. Entonces, completábamos ayer estas oraciones. Las tienen que completar para que repasen. Y acá, okay. complete exercises with there is or there are in a quantifier. Uh -huh. Si sí, es que aparece acá. Entonces, uh -huh. en number one, marketing presentation across the street in the morning. ¿Cuál utilizaríamos? There is or there are? There is. Okay, because it is singular, right? So we say there is, and we can say a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. In number two, you have some. Mm -hmm. There is or there are? There are. And the quantifier is, ¿cuál es el cuantificador? Some. Okay, so we say, read the sentence, please. There are some business workshops down the street. Excellent. In number three, recruitment centers around my building. No. Centers, plural. So we say? There are no. Excellent. Very well. So we say there are no recruitment centers around my building. What about number four? Store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. No. Store is there, the noun. There is no. There is no store. Okay, read the sentence. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Great. Now in number five, banks behind the factory. I work. There are. Yeah. It can be affirmative or negative because it doesn't give you a quantifier, right? Puede ser afirmativo o negativo porque no le da quantificador. There okay. are some. Okay. Banks behind, behind the factory. I work. Okay, and the last one, number six. Aranza building around the corner. There is. Okay. An Aranza. There is. Uh, okay, an Aranza building. Okay, and that's it. Very well. So, I think that there is no problem with there is and there are, right? Creo que no hay yes. problema con there is and there no. are. Okay, very well. And we also practice this conversation. Yeah? Yes. Okay, would you like to read it for me, please? Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Marlboro building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there thank you again bye 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 thank you so much miss great okay miss ivania thank you for giving me this time to reinforce your learning and your knowledge and have a good night see you friday okay okay good idea. night sir. have a good bye. night happy sleep bye bye take care bye bye bye, bye.